Right, welcome to Cooking Around the World. My name's John. Today we're going to be making these, these beautiful steak and onion rolls. Right, let's get cooking. Well, good morning and welcome to my channel. And as you can see, we'll be making ice cream today. But unfortunately I've got all the wrong ingredients out. So we'll be making steak and onion rolls instead. Right, let's get cooking, shall we? Right, so let's start with our steak. And um, onions. And there it is, all finished. No, it's a little bit more to go. Here's our breadcrumbs. This is our fennel seeds that I've ground up really nicely there. A teaspoon of hot English mustard. A couple of teaspoons of oregano or oregano. Then some paprika. One teaspoon of coriander. I'm going to, whoops, I might stir those in. Right, now our ginger. Teaspoon of minced ginger. Our mashed black beans. I can smell the aroma coming out of this mixture already. Just gorgeous. And then our sausage meat. And I'll get that all combined. And then we'll come back. Oh yes, we forgot a little bit of salt and some black pepper there we go there you go that's all combined so now's a good time to preheat your oven to a thousand degrees less 830 so about 170 degrees celsius and we're going to cook for around about 25 to 30 minutes and you want your tray about right in the middle of the oven. Right, so we've got our pastry out and we're now going to assemble our steak and onion roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these quite big. Um, but I'm going to slice them quite small. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I come back. I'm just going to fill these first. Right, we're now going to fold this over before it gets any softer. As you can see, it's starting to catch on the paper. So, um, we better hurry. Let's uh, wash along here so we get a good seal. And then along the seam here as well. Right, let's keep rolling. Hopefully we won't get into any trouble. Oh, there we have it. Right, now we're going to rain cut these. So So that you know what sort of size we're going to go for about that. Now if you're making these as an appetizer you might want to cut them smaller if you've got 
less people, you might want to make them bigger. Um, but remember, don't make them so big that it spoils your main course. Right, let's get them onto an oven tray. Right, and there they all are on the baking tray. All I've done is brush them with some milk and then sprinkled some sesame seeds. Now I'm going to pop them in the oven and we'll come back when we get them out. And there you are, straight out of the oven. Let's get these plated and have a wee taste, eh? Alright, let's take one of these. Take it up. I might bring the camera a bit closer. So there you go, I've just cut those in half. And I'll just take a little bit off here. Beautiful. Nicely done. Oh. Those are absolutely stunning. Oh. Welcome to eating around the world. <laughs> Right, I hope you get into these. As you can see, well as you can't see, I've just zoomed back a bit. Just from those small ingredients, you get a whopping big plate of appetizers. Um, stunning. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I will catch you on the next recipe.